Hey guys, I've got a super exciting reaction video today. I'm going to be reacting to Future Bounce. This video is special because it is a collaboration with the YouTube channel Future Bounce Center. If you're new to my channel because maybe you found me through Future Bounce Center, I do a ton of reaction videos to a bunch of different types of music. If you want to see more of my EDM reaction videos, I'll leave a link at the end of the video and in the description, and please consider subscribing. The Future Bounce Center YouTube channel has almost 2,000 subscribers and over 350,000 views. Their YouTube channel promotes Future Bounce songs by a wide variety of of different artists and producers. They have a ton of different playlists with IDs, tutorials, mixes, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to check them out, I will leave a link to their channel in the description. So if you don't know what Future Bounce is, it's a subgenre of EDM. So they reached out to me with a selection of tracks that are Future Bounce. So Future Bounce Center has sent me five songs that they have promoted this year that they felt were underrated and they think that my viewers would like. And so I'm going to be reacting to them to help spread the word. The link to all five of these tracks will be in the description if you want to check them out. I do like Retrovision, so I think I'm gonna really like this song. I like the snap, really nice lead so far too. Oh! This sounds super nostalgic, like 2016-ish era of EDM. I love this. Oh yeah, a summer bop for sure. Almost reminds me of like Avicii and older Martin Garrix a little bit. Yeah, I really like the vibes. Really fun, chill. I also really like the melody. Oh, I love that plug. Very summery, tropical sounding, like I said. I also like that vocal chop too. It was um, pitched down, which I like that effect. I love how that sounds. Really subtle build up. Yeah, I like how it's all coming in now. Oh, I like the clap in this part. I think my favorite part's the build-up. I mean, it just sounds very nostalgic, like classic EDM summer vibes. I love this. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. Oh, I like the ending. That was cool. It was a bop. I really love the vibes of that song. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed already. Oh my goodness, I love the vocals. I think this is gonna be probably one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I love the vocal processing, the vocal effects, and the lyrics. The lyrics are really good too. Whoa! Definitely very bouncy, obviously, because it's future bounce. <laughs> Whoa, this is so different, but I really like it. Yeah, really nice sound design. I love the lead and the melody. It's very unique, like I said, compared to the stuff I listen to. This sounds pretty different, which I do like. Whoa! I love that synth. Like that pad. And I really love like the melody and the bass line in the first verse. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I really like that. And it wasn't in the second verse either. Wow, this song was such a surprise. Oh, I like the bass growl too. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I loved the very end of the song. The chords at the very end, the outro sounded so good. I love that sound, like the sound design was so good. I like that white noise effect going on. Oh, I like the chords. Yeah, really nice melody so far. Ooh. This song reminds me of the first one. I think it has similar vibes. Like summery, tropical, very airy sounding too. Especially with the like white noise and the reverb. Ooh. It almost reminds me of like Kaigo and Avicii. There are some really cool and interesting effects. Yeah, like some shots, synth shots, and just some random things thrown in there. Makes it sound a lot more interesting, I like it. Yeah, really creative and unique. Oh, I like the bass line in this part. Wow, this vocal sounds really like young and childish, kind of. 
I like that other verse added in there. I didn't think it was gonna be in there. I thought there were gonna be no vocals in the song, but I do like the addition of it. Yeah, this song is super chill. I really loved the song's sound design. Like the lead sounded very like fresh and airy, lots of like white noise and reverb. Ooh. I like the vocalist. Good lyrics too. I love the snap. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I feel like the drop is gonna be very big and crazy and epic. Oh! Yeah, I love the vocal chop in the drop. It's perfect. I like how that's like the lead sound instead of like a synth, it's like a vocal chop. That's really cool. Oh, I like that arp in the background. It sounds like a xylophone. Really fun and like childish almost, but like in a good way. Oh, I like the bass line too. I think there was like a deeper, like almost like a, a growl type of bass layered in there too. That was cool. Whoa! Switch up. Now it's like a trap beat. That was really unexpected. It's different! Wow, that switch up caught me off guard. That's cool though. Really creative. Okay, the drop is pretty much the same. Really good chords too. I like them. Yeah, I like the sound design with the bass too. Yeah, overall a really nice track. I like it. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. You guys know I love the Chain Smokers. I love High, so I can't wait to hear this remix. I like the vibe so far. That vocal chop, nice. Whoa. Reminds me of Brooks. Wow. Okay, now there's the guitar and the vocal from the original song. It's really interesting to hear remixes to see what elements they keep and change from the original song. Okay, I like that new melody. Yeah, I think it goes really well with the vocal. Ooh. I think there might be a pitch automation with the lead sound, maybe. But whatever it is, I love how that sounds. Ooh. Oh my gosh, wow. I love this. I'm surprised. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because I didn't know where it was gonna go, but I love it. Yeah, I like how they incorporated the vocals. That little vocal chub every night. I think it fits great with the melody in this part. Yeah, I think the pauses every now and then, every couple of bars or so, that's a really nice touch. Maybe if the vocal is just turned up a little bit more, it sounds a little bit quiet compared to the instrumental. But, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's pretty sick, honestly. I love this style of the drop. It sounds so unique and pretty unpredictable, too. Yeah, like with all the different pauses, the melody, the vocal chop. I just love it. Ooh. Yeah, I like that lead-in to the next part of the drop. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Or maybe this is the outro. The intro and outro was good. I don't know if I liked it as much as the drop or the other parts of the song, but I mean, it was good. And I don't know if the song was just mixed bad or just the video isn't the best quality, but I do think like the vocal maybe needed to be turned up a little. Um, again, I don't know if that's just because of the mixing of the song or just the, the quality of the song on YouTube, but I mean, it's not the big of a deal. It was still a banger. So that was it. Those are the five songs that I'm going to be reacting to from Future Bounce Center. Like I said, they sent me these songs to react to. These were the five most songs that they thought were underrated and they thought that my viewers would like. My favorite song is probably Out of My Mind and I did also like the High remix, um, but I think Out of My Mind was probably my number one favorite. Thank you Future Bounce Center for reaching out to me and sending me these songs to react to. This is a really fun collab. I really enjoyed reacting to these songs. Let me know if you guys listen to Future Bounce. Let me know some of your favorite Future Bounce songs and let me know if you liked any of the songs that I reacted to in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!